Hey everyone, it's me. Welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas and I guess we're just going to jump straight in. And here's the advent for day 12. So here's the opal calendar and day 12 is over here. So I else find it a bit odd that opal have put it so that there's kind of like a sharp edge that kind of catches the yarn as you're trying to take it out. Not exactly the smartest thing in the world. So this is um there's some brown, some white, some blue, some blacky grey in general, a rather nice skin. Well, ball. So that's opal. And then on to Vicky Brown. Wow, this is very matchy matchy today. This is a very neutral colour as well. There's a lot of brown, um, a wee bit of like burnt orange, very neutral colour. And this one is called Cinnamon Bark. If my phone would focus. There we go, Cinnamon Bark. And then lastly for today, We've got Wee County Yarns and uh, number 12 is over here. I'm not sure what colour I would say this is. Let's see what they've called it. They've got an ugly pair. I think it's a very interesting name. And it is on the Super Soft Lambs Row. Now, if you were to describe this colour, I'd say there's some green and pink and some blue. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this closer to the light. So yeah, I think you can see a true representation of colour there. It's very interesting. I think it's kind of like if you looked on an oil spill, how you see multiple colours on an oil spill. That's what you're kind of picking up by looking at this yarn. Very nice. I don't know why they call it ugly pair though. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's ugly at all. But I like it. I think that's very nice. So today is the 12th, uh, that's Tuesday for anyone that's not aware. Um, today has been a bit of a productive day but a, pr of a bit of a non-productive day, a productive day as well. It is currently 5 past 8 in the evening and I haven't recorded before now because well, to be honest, I've been a wee bit busy. I had an appointment this afternoon, an appointment at midday, and I was trying my hardest to get days 5 to 11 uploaded because I've been having some issues dealing with the file. And finally got that uploaded, so I hope you enjoy. And then I came home to deal with that file again, and then I had to nip back out and I'd take my friend to her appointment. And then I went back to her place where I got to hang out with my goddaughter for a wee bit. Not seen her in a while. And then I came home and I didn't really do anything. Uh, my house is currently absolutely boiling, hence a tank top. Because it's so freaking warm in this house. Um, uh, and my skin broke out. Joy. So yeah, it's absolutely boiling here. I've been working on a wee bit of knitting. I am working on a design piece. Uh, there'll be a wee sped up clip at the beginning uh, to show you what I've been working on the colour is and I'll show off some more of the details once the pattern is complete. But yeah, uh, all in all, it's been a busy Tuesday. Not overly interesting. And yeah, uh, I think I'm going to show you a bit of a clip with my sister because my sister's home because it's her birthday on the 14th. And we are going to the pantomime tomorrow and we're going out for dinner or ordering in for her birthday. So yeah, everyone get ready to say hello to my sister. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> You've got the same phone. <laughs> mine works. <laughs> so does mine. Everybody, meet Hayley. Hayley, meet everybody. Hi. 
we don't look anything alike. She's adopted. She's not. <laughs> She's, She's adopted. Really not. I'm the postman's wing. What does that mean, Mum? <laughs> the portly? The postman's. Aye, and I said port. Like, yeah, she's a portman. <laughs> Mum's friends watch this, by the way, so be nice. <laughs> Hi, Alton. <sighs> We're just going to sit here and laugh. I don't know what people want to know about you. <laughs> Tell them. Speak. I'm tired. I'm old. Haley's 31. Uh, not for another two days, thank you. Haley's going to be 31. One and a half days. One and a half days. Or whatever. It's like one day and four hours. <laughs> so Haley's home for her birthday. We're going to the pantomime tomorrow night. Possibly getting takeout or going out. What are we doing? We're meant to be going out tonight. Where are we? Yeah. Did I fuck that up? No. Oh, you're not allowed to swear. You've got to beat that. I swear anyway. Anyway, it's fine. Um, did I mess that plan up? No, I think mum forgot she had that doodah. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. Um, so does that mean we're going out tomorrow? Yes. So we're going out tomorrow for Haley's dinner, birthday, and then we're going to the pantomime where we see Snow White, which ironically is what Haley gets called. You Why do you get called Snow White? I've got rosy cheeks and black hair. And normally she's a lot paler than she is <laughs> on this camera. This camera does not do well for my complexion, by the way. Mm -hmm. See, this is what happens when you move. Yeah. Like, I've not even mm. moved. Oh. Wait, like, check the redness. Look at that thing there. <laughs> this is not a podcast to show about spots. No, but this is Henry. So Haley, why do you not knit? Because I don't have the patience for it. But you have the patience to do your full face of makeup. Yes. Isn't that kind of contradictory? No. Your eyebrow lashes are sticking out. <laughs> Happy what did you just do? <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa. The fall of the shape of my eyebrow. Because I like makeup, I don't like knitting. Oh, God, this is heavy. But it's not for me. This phone is so heavy. It's the phone case. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Haley got a bigger phone than me, and it's very heavy. It, it's, I, I think it's the case, to be fair. It's still very heavy. It's one of these otter box double chin. things. No, no, no. Here we go. Multiple chins. <laughs> Normal chin. Multiple chins. Okay then. Yeah, it's been away from me for a very long time. When was the last time we saw each other? That long. Oh, uh, the wedding. Oh yeah, Sarah and Santa's wedding. So when was that? August? No. A month. October. Ago. October? Fourth um, of October. No. Fourth of November. November. I knew it was fourth. <laughs> oh god. Don't need you to hold, hold it. it. Oh, goodness gracious. Look, there's me in the mirror. There's Haley in the mirror. No, don't don't show off how messy my room is. <laughs> They've already seen it, but that's not the point. So yeah, this is my sister. Haley does not knit, Haley does makeup, and she's a poo poo head. You're still not old enough for a slap young enough for a slap. What? No. <laughs> That's not the right saying, is it? You're not too old for a slap. Don't blink. There you go. Make a wish. <sighs> I bet you just wish that was me getting slapped. No. Right, guys, four minutes, I think, is enough. Also, if that was killing my arm, it's going to be killing hers. Bye! Bye! a jumper dress. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs>
So if you think of like black forest cakes, this is pretty much a black forest cake. But it's so yummy. And you get two in a pack, which for someone like me that really loves cake, that's a bonus right there. So yeah, if you're in the neighbourhood and you've got Morrison's near you, check out the cake. Hi guys, and it is day 13 of Vlogmas, and I think I'm doing pretty good for doing this every day so far, apart from one weekend, which I think I would like to, I'd like to think I've made up for. So yeah, we're going to jump straight in, we're going to do uh, the yarn advents for the 13th, and then I'm actually going to talk a wee bit about the knitting I've been working on, which I don't think I've actually covered in Vlogmas yet so far. So here is the advent for the 13th. So we're going to start with Opal today. And uh, 13 is up here. I really like these colours. These are lovely. And then we're going to move on to Vicky Brown. 13 is here. This is a Equalan is actually the soak I use for when I'm blocking my hand knits and when I'm also working with my hand dyed. Uh, this is the stuff I tend to use. I've got the lavender version of it. Uh, not that I know where it's at at the moment. And this is the scheme for today, which is really gorgeous. And this one is called Royal, which is very fitting. So that's that one. And finally on to number 13 for Weekend to Yards. Ooh, that's a nice colour. So it's a, kind of like a reddy pink. Actually really really nice. It's called Lavish. And it is on their Super Soft Lambs Wool Base. It's a really nice colour. I'm really looking forward to getting all these um, unboxed and then putting all the colours side by side to see what I'm left with. And then from there I'll be able to decide what kind of colour work project I want to do. Because at the moment I, I don't really want to jump in and make something and then get to like say day 24 and like the perfect matching colour comes up. So I think a lot of people aren't really sure what to make with their advent minis, or at least I don't know what to make with my advent minis, but that's just me. So yeah, before I started doing the advent, um, before I started recording actually, I was watching my good friend Eva Christie, and she is on as the Diary of a Yarn Festival director on YouTube. She used to be under her old tag, which was... Um, Eva Christie Hand Knitting and she's done the, the podcast for that but since she is more now 150% the yarn director uh, she has changed her name on YouTube which is very fitting um, so I'm watching her newest podcast and then I'm going to be watching Elias Gander Knits and then from there I'm probably going to catch up with a few more vlog vlogmas videos um, so yeah As I was saying, I'm probably going to get caught up on a few Vlogmas videos and then from there I'm probably going to... I'm either going to try and get some socks finished or I'm going to cast on a new project. But I just kind of wanted to show off something that I've been working on that I'm really, really proud of. Um, it's actually one of my own designs that I've been working on and it's a very big chunky knit. And it's a shawl. So this is all I'm really going to show off for just now. Um... It's a very, very big, very big project. Put it this way, I can... Oh, that's smart, Kirsty. Put your hand in front of the entire camera. 
I can wrap this big beautiful shawl all the way around and it's so warm and squishy and it's actually quite heavy because it's made from super chunky yarn and knit on 10 millimeter needles. I put on a wee, wee contrasting edging just there. You can see the two different colours. You can also really see how nice my lip gloss is. It's so sparkly. But yeah, uh, I've been working on this wee project uh, very solidly. Uh, it's taken me a couple of days to create, um, to kind of make up. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's going to make a great addition for winter. So yeah, let's, let me go put my advents away and we'll start this again. And she's back. Can I get rid of me? No. <laughs> I haven't been able to for 28 years. Thanks. Should be the other way around. I can't get rid of you. Haley's now wearing my shawl that I designed. She's not getting it back. What do you think of it, honestly? I like it. It's really warm. I could have done with us on Monday night. <laughs> Haley turns 31 tomorrow. Mm. No. No. 30. We're going backwards. I'm 18. <laughs> you I, wish. Like, I think I could pull that off anymore. I think 21. <laughs> so I think we need to clarify something for viewers here. <laughs> Haley's younger. No. No, no, no. no. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be younger if you wouldn't. <laughs> Haley's my big sister. Big little sister. Where did you come from? Under your bed. I did not know you were under there, big guy. I'm half an inch shorter than her. Haley's my older sister. I am the baby. But everyone thinks that Haley is younger than me. Yep. Because Haley has porcelain skin, apart from a few breakouts, but that's because of Haley's. We're going to go with the words allergies. Intolerances. Intolerances. Uh, so, yeah, Haley is older than me, although she will never ever look it. Nope. And I am the younger sister that always gets picked for being older. Yep. Let's put it this way. When Haley was 16, I would have been 14, <laughs> we went to the local shop to get mum a lucky dip. The guy behind the counter, birthday. the guy behind the counter actually said that he would not serve my sister the lucky dip, even though she was legally of age to gamble. And he knew it because his daughter was in the same year as me at school. Exactly. But he would let me, a 14 year old, buy the lottery ticket. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> Which is illegal. <laughs> so he illegally sold me a ticket because I wasn't going back home to get mum to come back out. So I got the ticket. <laughs> oh well. I always get ID'd as well. Yeah, I got ID'd recently and it felt amazing. I get ID'd for PG film at a school. <laughs> PG. <laughs> oh, the look in your face is pure disgust. I, I, I kind of looked at it and as if, are, are, you, are you actually being serious? Oh my god. I was like, it's a PG film, Parent Guardian. So where was your parent and guardian? Where was in, Scott? In the house. This was like years ago. So yeah. I kind of laughed at her and went, <laughs> no. It's like, are you serious then? <laughs> but yeah, Haley and I don't sound like we're from the same town. We don't look like we're sisters. We don't act like we're sisters. We're adopted. I know, but people are going to think you're being serious. You need to tell them that you're joking. Oh no, we, it's a running joke in the family. It's the same as I'm an alien. Half an alien. Because dad's an alien. So that makes me half an alien. This is why Haley's never been on my podcast before, because she rambles more than anyone. Have you seen my vlog list? It's non-existent. That's because you're moving. <laughs> but yeah, where are we going tonight? Maybe. Pantomime. What are we having for dinner? Chinese. Why are we doing all this? Because it's my birthday. And Haley's going to be old. See, we don't celebrate Christmas in our family, but we Sexy. celebrate birthdays. Can't be on the vlog, miss. That's really, like, the raw, odd way around, isn't it? Like, we celebrate birthdays, but not Christmas. <laughs> Come on. So, <laughs> C is officially joining us. Let's see if I can do this without covering the camera again. Haley, do the honours. My arm hurts. Come here. Come get on. We're getting a vlog, miss. Let's not get my side again. <laughs> Soxy! Hey, little big guy! Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, claw out. Let's move that leg. You sitting there? <laughs> I 
He just doesn't care as long as he gets cuddles. I felt like Poppy. <laughs> so are we ready for Christmas? No. Did you put your tree up? Yes. Yeah, but you have to explain why I don't celebrate Christmas. Haley and I are pagan. So we kind of... We do Christmas, but we don't. If that makes Hi. sense. We do the winter solstice. Yeah. Got it. Haley and I celebrate the winter solstice, but we do also celebrate Christmas just because our other halves and their families all believe in Christmas. Yeah. Um, basically, our gran was pagan, and it's just been a long standing running family tradition, and we have followed that pretty well, yeah. I would say. Plus, mum didn't want us getting picked on because we didn't celebrate Christmas. Yeah. When you're pagan, people tend to ask a lot of questions, tend to make fun of you, and it's not fun. No. So yeah, you tend to just go with you believe in Christmas. Also, the decorations are really fun, and I really well, like spoiling people. Technically, peak our so winter solstice is our version of Christmas. We still do the same thing, like you still do a tree, you still do presents. No, no, but no. It's three days earlier. They stole the tree and the I, presents. Winter so, solstice always brought a tree on first. It's a controversial subject, but to me, Christmas is a Christian holiday, and I'm not Christian, so I don't celebrate it. That's a good way to put it. Right, do you want your birthday present? Yes. Okay, right, we're going to pause this so that I can go get Haley's presents and then you can watch her open them even though they're not wrapped. God, look at that face. <laughs> we're now filming. So as you can see, Haley has not seen her presents and I have not bothered to open them. These are that a mixture. Wrong. Aye, that. <laughs> These are a mixture of her Christmas and her birthday. Open. Used to that. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I picked that. Yes, you did. And I picked that. Ooh, I'm going to use that tonight. Ooh. Kiki K. I like Kiki K. They're expensive. I know. Oh. Oh. oh, that's shiny. Put it on the floor. Okay. Actually reflects like it my face. sure like <laughs> reflects right onto your face. Your face. <laughs> so for anyone that, that doesn't know my sister, which is probably every single one of you that watches this podcast, Haley is very much into her planners. That's dad's fault. And organizers. Oh my he's actually got a wipe. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't have an A5 one. So I've done good? Yeah. I need to get um, inserts, but that's fine. I like that. Ooh. You've done good. Dang I like it. knowing I got good presents. Is that on my screen or is that on my teeth? I think it's on my screen. I think there's a hair somewhere. Or was. Yeah, there is. Right there. Because I thought it was a crack. <laughs> so yeah, um, I done good. Yes. And I needed a new charger for my phone because um, the one that you I've got... You think you'll need to charge that for yeah, you to no. get out tonight. The one I've got, which I got, which shouldn't really do, bought it on eBay. And it wasn't cheap. Um, ch I charged it, used it twice, now it's broke. Hmm. So it's going back if I can. But the only thing is, it's two months old. Uh, I don't know if they'll take it back. But I like it. So yeah, Haley's now got her presents. I'm going to either go finish some socks. Oh, that's what I was going to show off. I was going to show off some socks. Right, you come with me whilst I get to my bag. Am I yeah, mm -hmm. stay there if you want. Where's my bag? Am I sitting on it? Yeah, you are. No, that's my. Seriously, where's my bag? <laughs> oh, it's behind my laptop. <laughs> Oh. Did you have a nice trip? <laughs> That'll be going in the blooper roll. There's no such thing as a blooper roll for me. Everything yeah, is just I everything. I don't have a blooper roll either. So I've been working on some socks. Um, just a pair of vanilla socks, nothing overly fancy. Um, but I do want to try and use up the full 100 gram ball. So this is zigzag yarn. And I do still have the ball band, so I can tell you what the colourway is. 
So this is a King Cole zigzag and this is in the Topaz colorway or color 3015 and this is sock numero 2 or you know number 2 for anyone that doesn't speak French <clears throat> I don't speak very, very much French and I don't speak it very well <laughs> I would love to but I can't so yep done the heel onto the cuff I do all my toes toe up and for proof that there is a second sock here, oh, you're not going to see because of the light. Here's the second sock. And I'm trying to do them concurrently. And I'm trying to get them to match relatively well. I think I'm about a stripe, not a stripe. I'm about a row or two out from have, excuse me, having a completely identical socks, which I think is not too bad. So yeah, I'm working on those. But I really, really want to cast on a hat. And I'll show you the hat. Oh, Haley, hold the phone. Thank you. It's so much easier when you have a, a what's the word? A helper. So this is the hat. Uh, this is in the new Knitter magazine. So this is in issue 118. This has just not long come out. There's a lot of really lovely things in this and a lot of colour work in it as well. But in particular, I absolutely adore this hat. And it's made from DK weight yarn. So there's the front page. So they've got a guy modelling it, but you could totally have this as a unisex hat. And I've decided to make it in... Ooh, my yarn. Well, I dyed Hufflepuff this. puff colours. Is it? Yellow and grey. No. They're black. Is it black? Pretty sure you can have grey. I think it'll be grey. Right, let's it's see not. if we can get this to really show the colours. There you go. So it's, this orangey yellow is kind of like an, an ombre. Uh, it was dip dyed in the dye pot. And the grey is like a sort of... Well, it's, I wanted it to be a solid colour, but it's more kind of tonal than solid. For anyone that dyes yarn, you know it can be kind of tricky to dye a true solid. So this is what I'm going to make the hat out of. And depending on how much yarn I've got left over, I could always invert the colours and do the opposite for um, the hat. And I will show you the progress on the next podcast. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you for watching day 13. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Haley. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candle. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we light the candle. We've got no electricity. <laughs> Ele so this tends to be what a daily occurrence looks like in my house. So Oxy curled up on my lap. Me trying to knit. Always watch my podcast. Yeah, so Oxy loves cuddles. If you're sitting, he wants cuddles. And if I'm knitting, he definitely wants cuddles. Uh, this is day 15. I didn't record yesterday. Um, today we were going to go out, but my mum has had a tooth out. And it's quite a lot of pain, so she's going to the dentist today. And so I'm waiting on Scott getting his new car to come down. My mum in the background. My oh dear. Monty's getting into trouble. So yeah, I'm gonna sit with Oxy for a wee while, continue watching some other vlogmases, and I'm going to attempt to get the rest of this cuff finished. And for me, this is a really long cuff. This is currently sitting at three inches. Um, I'm aiming for four. 
and then I can cast off. So I split the yarn out. <coughs> split the yarn out for the second song, which is just there. And I'm hoping to get four inches done on the cuff, and then that should be me, which is the longest cuff I've ever done my pair of socks. And then I'll match that with the second one, which is currently only sitting at two inches long. And then I'll cast off. Um, taking a wee leaf out of Michelle, who is button mouse, and I've decided not to do any more cast ons this year. I'm going to try and get things off the needles, which is going to be really interesting because I never seem to stick with that. So, yeah, from Soxie and I, this is just going to be the clip for just, just now. I'll record a wee bit more later on. See you then. Hello and good morning I guess, uh, seems that most podcasters are showing some sort of clip themselves not long woken up. Uh, it's actually half four in the afternoon and basically the reason I've only just woke up is because I got about three hours sleep last night. I was through with my best friends with my partner and we were having dinner and some drinks and my goddaughter was still awake. So I was having a wee bit of fun with my goddaughter. She kind of likes like going on your back, pretending like you're a horse or being like lifted up into the air and shaking around a wee bit. Like all fun and games, nothing bad. She absolutely loves it. Uh, it turns out that I've either done my back in or triggered the back injury that I had this time last year. So I've been in absolute agony since I'd say about oh, 10 o'clock last night. I took really strong painkillers last night and I uh, only took them about 3 o'clock so I got some sleep between 3 and 7 in the morning and then Scott went off to work today and I went back to bed about 12 o'clock and that's me not long woken up so Saturday has been completely and utterly wasted but I thought since I haven't really recorded the last couple of days that I should really get on with Vlogmas so I wanted to show off some, some finished objects. I have two finished socks, as you can see, and still need woven in, of course. Traditional me. Um, I done a four inch cuff, which I actually really like on. I can fold it down if it's too long or that wee bit of extra warmth. Uh, that wee bit of extra length creates some extra warmth and they sit really well in some boots so I'm really really pleased with them. I picked up and finished a sleeve on my cardigan over here 
um, which has been on the needles for quite a while and I put an inch on the body of my Sunset Highway sweater. So all in all, yesterday was a very productive day. Um, I am hoping to get the jumper sleeve finished and start sewing those pieces together and then do the neckband and then that should be finished. I really, really want to get the Sunset Highway sweater off the needles before the new year. Uh, as I said in my last vlog, I've decided to take a bit of a leaf out of my friend Michelle's book and try not and cast on before the new year. I want to try and get as many projects off the needles before I go into the new year as possible. So that is that plan. I hope you all really appreciate this hair. This is my bed hair. Um, I have no intentions of trying to make it pretty because... Let's face it, I'm in so much pain today that I'm probably only going to go back and lie down or try and find one comfortable position and stay in it for the most of today. And yeah, that doesn't involve needing to brush my hair. So I quite like it when it's spiked up. I just wish it would be nicer spiked up. But it's getting really long again and I am trying to grow it out. So yeah, the plan for today is to knit. Uh, keep on top of some really strong painkillers and um, basically hope that the back, prob back pain I'm experiencing is just that I've hurt it last night while I was playing with Lucy and not my old back injury but I am also three days behind on my advent calendar so let's get started on that shall we so I have three days on the calendar to do which is day 14, 15 and 16. Today's the 16th. So starting with the 14th. That's nice. I like the yellow. I like the fact it's kind of like a dark rainbow because there's some pinks and purples, yellow, orange, blue. Is the green? Yeah, there's just a wee hint of green as well. So that's really nice. I like that one. So from the 14th, we're going to go to the 15th. So the 15th. That's nice. It's not the first one, but this is nice. And then from the 15th, we're going to go to the 16th. Look at me, I can do my days. I totally just broke that. There. Ooh, that's pretty. I wonder if this one's self striped. That's my three opal. Fourteen, fifteen, no. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I do like that one. And from Opal, we will go to Vicky Brown. So, 14 is here. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. So, it's a big mix of colours. There's a lot of purple in it, which I really, really love. This one is called Sunset Beach. And then number 15. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. It's called Oh My Darling. That's really nice. I didn't think I'd like something like that, but that's really beautiful. And then number 16 is up here. Ooh, lemon and ginger. And makina honey. That's nice. Oh, it's very pink. It's not a pink girl, but see when it's like bright pink or fuchsia pink, I love it. I can't get enough of it. And this one is called Magenta. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm not wanting to keep you guys too long for this one, because I think we're going to show a few days together again. But then last bit by no means. 
Christmas East. We have 14, 15, and 16 for the Wee County Yarns. Wow! I love this. This is amazing. That is a true colour representation right there. That is amazing. I love this. So it's called Pistachio. And it's on the Super Soft Landswell base. Oh my god, I love this. This is absolutely amazing. That is beautiful. I really, really like that. Okay, and day 15. I'm getting better at doing this one, huh? Oh, wow. That is a beautiful grey. That is really, really nice. And it's called Medium Grey. Original, huh? And that's on the Unique Shetland base. They go really well together. I've always been one of those people that really like kind of like a bright with a neutral. And lastly for today, ta 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 ta! Oh, like my favorite color in the entire world. I have this. I know I have this one already. Is a large ball, and it is called Water Jade. And it's on the Unique Shetland base, if my phone would focus. There you go, Unique Shetland. Water Jade. Lot 0317. Those colours are phenomenal. I would love to make something colour work just with those three colours. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's my advent calendars all up to date. Let's see, let's try and tidy this up a wee bit. Oh, I can feel a sneeze coming on. Socks, he's just came in. You coming up, big guy? You coming? Up you come. Come say hello to your adoring audience. Yeah. He's so handsome. Foxy's probably looking for some attention because I've been asleep most of the day. I got up to feed him. Um, just as Scott was leaving for work. And I went straight back to bed. So he's probably like, where's my humans been all day? I've been so bored. So I done a big tidy up with my room the other day. Not that you would know looking at it. I mean, seriously, you would not think I just cleaned this section up. But I managed to squeeze some more minis into my large jars, you can see. And my mum got me a wee present. Look at this guy. Isn't he cute? He's called Peanut. He's so adorable. He's for my car, but I actually haven't driven my car since she gave me him. Uh, Scott got a new car, so he's been chauffeuring me around so that I can sit in it, which is amazing. But how cute is this little guy? And then when I was tidying up, I found some things I want to get put up on my wall. So I have this lovely postcard that Nalee gave me that I still need to get up on my wall. And I'm looking for new things from my wall. So if anyone's got any really nice cards or anything they want to send, uh, I really need to kind of update this a wee bit more. So this is my sister and I when we were younger. Believe it or not, that's me. That one. Right there, that's me. That was the colour my hair used to be as a kid. Uh, this was a birthday card. It was a Valentine's Day card. This was from the most amazing girl in my work when I really took on well last year. And this one is from... I want to say Eva. 
or Michelle. Oh no. Yeah, it's from Eva. And then the letter from Michelle, which you guys don't get to read. And then you can see the Star Wars theme occurring. And then I've got some, I love that. I actually own that camera. This is my grand and my grandpa. Sadly, they both passed away. My grand only passed away this year. My grandpa passed away in 2010. Then I've got my mare cat. That was me and Kirsty on a night out. Don't eat yellow snow. I mean, seriously, true words to live by. This is my double knitting sample that I done at Perth Festival of Yarn 2017. I took um, Nathan Taylor's class. So yeah, um, I'm looking to get some more things from my wall. So if anyone's got really cute cards or anything they'd like to send, let me know. It's looking a bit sparse at the moment. I don't seem to have very much there to show off. But yeah, that's us for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me see if I can get him to turn around. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, it's really not going to work. So yeah, thanks very much for watching again, guys. I'm probably going to put these videos together because there's a few clips. Um, we'll see where we get to. See you later. Bye.